Hey there, good day folks. Today is April 27th and we are revisiting the 3,500 gallon holding pond. As you can see, clearing up quite nicely. We're gonna be adding our third dose of new algae today. The first dose we applied on April 13th. Uh, as you can see, uh, the piping underneath is becoming visible. Actually really quite impressed with the clarity. Our nitrites are up a bit and uh, so is phosphate. But since I want my algae carpet to grow on the sides, I'm not gonna do too much about that right now. If you don't let nitrites be out of control for more than two months, it should be okay for your koi. Uh, prolonged exposure to high nitrite, nitrate, or phosphates are dangerous for the koi fish in terms of their uh, internal organs, liver, kidneys, and stuff like that. Uh, but look at the returns on the pond, and uh, you can tell that all that horrible green tint is beginning to 100% disappear. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about how I dose new algae. You can dose it directly into your skimmer area or by your pump intakes. I kind of, since I have a lot of uh, action going on in the pond and this water moves really, really good, um, I use a syringe and what I do is I will just take my syringe and dose around moving areas of the pond. It's just that simple for me. Uh, it does move around quite well. It gets a nutrient into the water. But like I said, you can take it directly into your skimmer basket, just lift the top or wherever your intake is and dose fairly close to your intake. So here's progress being made. Very happy. We can see fish toward the bottom of the pond. They're almost all the way to the bottom. They're probably only about eight inches up off of the bottom if you can see color moving around down there. Here's a nice little group of folks. And that'll be that. Yeah, very happy. Next week, what I'm gonna do is dose a little bit of microblift PBL bacteria to handle the nitrite in the pond and take that back down to zero. Uh, like I said, I'm letting mine stay a little bit high for a week or two only because I want that good carpet algae to grow in my system. So that's the report for April 27th. Third dose of new algae just went in and we will be back in another seven days to see what happens after I add a little bit of the microblift PBL.